maze, when you're being chased down a maze and you've got to use quick thinking to get, and that, I mean, that is a cerebral thing. You've got them coming this way and you've got them coming that way. Now, which way do you go? You've got to work out how, you know, back down, back across, in and out, little down the alleyway, come back out the other end again. Go now, or stay and get noshed. Wonderful. Really, really original. The thing that I really remember about it is the name Namco. Waka, 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 waka. It's like Acme was, you know, when you see an old cartoon, but Namco kind of sum up the early electronic games, you know, from the early 80s. Pac-Man by Namco. Hi. I liked pinball, and I thought I'd join the company which made pinball machines. But the company didn't make pinball machines, so I was quite disappointed. But then I thought, why not make something like a combination between pinball and a video game? Mostly you find it inside arcades, the most popular electronic game ever. Before Pac-Man, the majority of the games were space themes. Pac-Man was a man who ate spots. One lunchtime, I ordered a pizza, and as I was eating it, I saw that if you take out one slice, it becomes a Pac-Man shape. And I decided, OK, let's use this shape. No sex, no drugs, no wine, no women, no Pac-Man is really, really straightforward. You're in a maze which has 240 dots. You control a little yellow-eating mouth. There are four ghost monsters there of different colours and they chase after you. Normally they'll kill you, but if you eat the big dots in the corner, the ghost monsters change to a dark blue colour. When you eat this, Pac-Man and the monsters swap sides. So Pac-Man is able to eat the monsters instead. And then cherries came in at some stage as well. I don't know why that was. I was surprised that managed to sort of capture the public's imagination in the way it did. Six billion dollars got fed into video game slots last year. That's double what Americans spent to go to the movies. Its simplicity, its innocence, its, its ordinariness absolutely captivated our imagination. It was a craze that just swept the country, in fact, the world. The citizens of Brookhaven have overwhelmingly demonstrated their opposition to the massive proliferation of video games. Pac-Man has become a national phenomenon. The little yellow creature is showing up everywhere. It's the sound of Pac-Man, and lately a growing number of residents have been skipping their naps to play. Do you remember the ones in the pubs? The tables, they could put your beer down. But it's not a table, it's computer game and you put your money in. It's fantastic because you couldn't concentrate on anything else. Just sit for hours and hours making this thing up. Wop, 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 wop. <laughs> She's having a heck of a good time. If she, if she wasn't here to be in a room, why groaning? In addition to the games, there are spin-offs. Pac-Man cups, t-shirts, key holders, neckties, duvets, beer mugs, piggy bank, tote bags, the chewing gum, pillows, pencils, balloons, stickers, board games, erasers, books, mugs, hats. He's very soft and cuddly. 